Hello there, Michelle Short here for My Favourite Things. Today I have a clean and simple card to share with you using paper strips and vellum butterflies. So let's get started. This is the Winged Wonders stamp set. It's so pretty. I'm going to stamp the butterflies onto heavyweight translucent vellum. I really love this vellum because it's very heavyweight so you could actually use it for card bases if you wanted to but it's still got that translucency to it so I do think it's really pretty. Pretty. I'm going to stamp my butterflies on top. What I love about this vellum is because it's so heavyweight, it doesn't tend to warp that much while doing heat embossing. So it really is perfect for heat embossing. So I'm going to stamp my butterflies onto the vellum using the mini misty here. I'm just going to prep the vellum with an anti-static powder tool and remove the excess powder with a brush. I'm then going to ink up my butterflies using Versamark ink. This is a clear sticky ink so that the embossing powder that I add on top is going to stick to it. So I can just press down in the misty here. Once they're stamped I can remove that and then I can apply some super fine white embossing powder. So I like to apply the embossing powder a couple of times, tap off the excess in between and that's so that I get a really nice coverage of that embossing powder. I'm then going to heat set that until it's completely melted and you do want to be careful when heat setting on vellum because it can warp quite easily with the heat from the heat tool. So I'm just kind of doing a small area and then moving the heat gun away and then doing a little bit more. I did get a tiny weeny little bit of warping just on a couple of areas but because this vellum is so heavyweight you really don't see any of the warping and what I do after I finished heat embossing is I kind of fan the vellum in the air and that just cools it down really quickly and then it prevents any warping as well. I'm then going to take the Winged Wonders dynamics and I'm going to place them on top of the images, hold them down with some low tack tape and run that through my die cutting machine. When I do any die cutting on vellum I like to add a scrap piece of paper underneath so that's what you can see there. I need to remember to remove it from the backs of the butterflies if it got stuck where it did on this top one here otherwise it looks like the vellum is very opaque but otherwise it's really nice and pretty. I like to just add that piece of paper behind so that I don't get any marks from the cutting pads onto the vellum. I've then taken some colours of cardstock that I'm kind of cut into strips. The light yellow is from my stash and then I've got MFT Lemon Drop, Grapesicle, Grape Jelly and Boysenberry. I thought these colours just worked really nicely together. So I've got a panel of white cardstock here that's cut to three and a half inches by four and three quarter inches and I'm just using my butterflies here as a guide so that I can see where I want to place those paper strips. So I'm just going to place them down I want the cardstock to sort of be in the bottom right hand corner but I'm going to show a little bit later that actually I could have done it in the top left hand corner as well but I like to kind of try and focus my elements kind of into one area on a card either that be in the middle or kind of like in the bottom kind of third or the top third I do like to use the rule of thirds for card design quite often so once I've figured out where those paper strips are going to be, I just removed the butterflies out of the way and then I've added some on point precision glue onto the back of those paper strips and I'm applying them in a diagonal. This is so that if they're not 100% straight, you're not really going to notice at all, which is what I really love. I am going to leave a small white gap in between each of the paper strips. I'm not too concerned if the gaps are all the same. I actually want them to be different, but I do want to try and make sure that it's straight as possible so that the gap is kind of the same all the way along the paper strip. So I'm just adding those one after another. Like I said, I'm kind of changing how much of a gap is in between each one just for some added interest this is a really clean and simple card so sometimes those little details do make a difference and I really like using the wet adhesive here so that I've got time to kind of wiggle those around and get them straight 
Once they're all stuck down, I can remove that panel from my mat. I did get a little bit of excess glue onto the mat, but this glue dries really, um, cleans up, excuse me, <laughs> dries really quickly, but cleans up really nicely with, just with some water. And then I cut those paper strips down. And so here I've kind of placed everything down where I think it's gonna go. And then kind of thought, actually, what would it look like if I had the paper strips in the top left hand corner instead of the top right so it's always worth even if you've got a design in your head to kind of not stick everything down and sort of move things around and see if you like something else better I think it would look nice either way let me know in the comments what you think if you think I should have done it this way round or the way that I did it in the end I did go with it being in the bottom right hand corner in the end so I've added some thin foam tape onto the back of the panel here and I'm adhering that down onto an A2 size white card base so that's a finished size of four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches so I'm just placing that in the middle of that card base and then I can grab my butterflies so that I can see where I want them to go before I do adhere them down. I have stamped a sentiment from the Winged Wonders set onto some black licorice cardstock and heat embossed that. I've added some foam tape onto the back of that and then I'm just adding that onto that butterfly so that's not actually stuck down yet and what I can do is use that paper strip to my advantage or the sentiment strip I should say to add some adhesive behind it so you're not going to be able to see that adhesive and then I can adhere that down onto the card base trying to make sure that that sentiment is straight so I'm going to bring in my t-square ruler just to make sure that that is straight before I press that down and then for the other butterfly here before I actually stick it down I'm just going to manipulate the wings slightly I want to have the wings kind of folded up on themselves so it kind of looks like the butterflies are either kind of in flight or they've just kind of stopped down on the card base kind of just getting their breath before they fly off again I'm then going to take some vellum adhesive and add a very tiny amount just where that body is on the butterfly and then I can stick that down and that's going to stick that down absolutely fine because these butterflies are quite light in weight so just got that tiny little bit of adhesive there and you can't see through that vellum at all to see that adhesive which is really nice and then while I'm making sure that that's stuck down really nicely I'm just manipulating those wings again and I'm going to do the same thing for the larger butterfly. I think it's really pretty having those kind of a little bit more dimensional but also they do lay flat when you're going to put it in an envelope as well which is always nice it's not too much dimension. I'm then going to finish off by adding some iridescent droplets so I'm adding a small dabs of the on point precision glue and then I can just place the iridescent droplets on top and that's just going to add a little bit of sparkle and shine onto the card. Even though the butterflies are translucent, I really like how they pop out against the bright colours of the paper strips in the background. I think this design would work really nicely as a card set, so you could do lots of different colour combinations of those paper strips. I think that that would work quite well, but I really love the dimension on the wings of those butterflies. So that's the card finished for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.